Well, I just got finished my hour of morning cardio. Uh, it's Thursday, which means tomorrow I wrestle for Ring of Honor in Kalamazoo. And then Saturday I wrestle for Ring of Honor in Dayton, Ohio. Um, so today's going to be a lot of the prepper, the preparation for, for a weekend of shows. You know, there's a lot that goes into wrestling. But first, I got to hit Walmart. I got to pick up some groceries for the wife while I'm, while I'm away. And also, Jax needs some diapers because uh, he's going to the bathroom 12 to 15 times a day which I guess is good, uh, but he's making a mess all over the place. So we got to pick that up. And then I have to shave. Uh, shaving's a headache. I was, doing, I was doing laser hair removal, but the place just shut down out of nowhere. You know, it was five sessions in, had a couple more left, and they just moved shop. Um, so got to get back to shaving, which is crazy expensive. And uh, it's funny. Uh, there's a lot that goes into wrestling that you don't understand, you know. Uh, the grooming is a big part of it. It really is. And so is uh, having proper wrestling gear and eating properly and working out. So really, man, to be to be a pro wrestler is 24/7, whether you believe it or not, uh, whether you want to admit it or not, is 24/7. It's a it's an everyday thing. Um, so we're gonna shave. We're gonna food prep a little bit more so I can take a cooler on the road. Which that's the beauty about driving and flying southwest is I can take my cooler. Um, saves me a lot of money on the road and I like to eat and I try to eat every two and a half hours so that that can get pricey when you're traveling so I like to take my cooler and take some tuna and some protein bars and stuff but you'll see all that tomorrow morning what I take on the road but today uh, we will talk about shaving and then we will also get some food prep in and got class again tonight might change it up a bit and show some of that um, so we'll see you then now for the fun part of wrestling and that is grooming. I hope you can tell I'm being sarcastic. So we have our tools here. First, scissors and comb. That's for eyebrows and the mustache. Because with the beard, well, the wife does not like it, so I have to keep the upper part of my lip trimmed. And the eyebrows, well, you don't want wonky eyebrows. Also, tweezers for the eyebrows, so they don't get a unibrow. No scissors, because for some reason, I have hair coming out everywhere. We trim the chest with this. We have a razor for my arms and my face. And then this one is for my legs and back. I'll do the legs first and then back, uh, because I don't want it dull for the legs because then you get ingrown hairs. Also, with ingrown hairs on the legs, I uh, try to use conditioner. With legs, when you're shaving, I'm sure ladies know this, uh, your legs will rub together. Or well, maybe most ladies' legs won't rub together, but mine do because they're quite large. Uh, so they're more susceptible to ingrown hair, so I try to use this to, to cut down on that. And then the good old shaving cream. Obviously, that's for everywhere else. And then last but not least, we have this bad boy. And this is for the head. So let's start grooming and see how long it takes. After 45 minutes of shaving, we are now ready to pack the wrestling bag. So I'll take you through that. Well, first to start with the wrestling boots. Uh, I like the low cut boots, one, because I have big calves, two, it's less to tie up. The larger boots can be a pain when you're, more so when you're done the match. You want to uh, just get your stuff off quickly and go shower and get to the next town or hotel or wherever you may be going. So I go with the ankle boots. And black socks because as you can see the inside of the boots sweats and you'll get just discoloration of white socks so the white socks goes on sorry the black socks then goes the knee braces I had knee surgery when I was 19 so I wear two now just kind of for safety um, you know no matter what people say about pro wrestling out of all the sports I've played and anything I've ever done athletic, this is definitely the most tough on the body and uh, the hardest. You know, we have no off season. So here's the knee braces. Then we go with the knee pads. So I get two pairs because you never want to smell. So there's the black ones and the blue ones. Now I switched a long time ago to AMAs just because there's more knee support. And that's crucial, as I said, you know. Uh, wrestling is pretty brutal on the body, so these really help support, especially with the side pads, everything for your meniscus, and then obviously for your for your knee. Um, 
because when I did have knee surgery, it was ACL and dislocated patella, so these are crucial too. Then we go with the gear. Now I have under tights and then my singlets. So I put them in. Now we need the Febreze because I need to spray my knee braces after and hang them out to dry at the hotel so they don't smell. Uh, the worst thing you can do is put somebody in head scissors and your knee braces smell. Then obviously some wrist tape. Deodorant, well that's crucial because again, you don't want to smell so I try to put on some deodorant before I go out. And then this. This is because my beard's getting out a little out of whack and I need to brush it before I go out so it doesn't look like it's all over the place. Now, I have to roll my jacket. I know people give me shit because, oh, it looks like it wasn't ironed. Well, one well, number one, you cannot iron this. We tried before reading the tag and it started to frill the bottom of the material. You have to take it to the dry cleaner. And even though I did, look, it still gets a little wrinkly. But I'm partial to this jacket because as many fans know that pay attention to me, I'm a huge fan of Dr. Death and he had a robe much like this, obviously a different, different color scheme and a different symbol on the back. But that's why I chose this robe uh, because I was a huge fan of Dr. Death, Steve Williams. And when people make, when people say that I remind them of him, you know, it's a huge compliment because I thought he was, he was just a tremendous in-ring talent. I uh, wish I had met him, you know, before he passed away. I wish I had a chance to share the ring with him, but that's the meaning behind this robe. And it was ironed and I did hang it, as you can see the hanger in it. But unfortunately, sometimes it gets like this, but uh, I don't think I'm ready to, to give it up. Well, now we are all shaved and packed and now it's food prep, which is just putting food into containers and picking out what I'm taking on the road. Uh, so let's show you what I usually take on the road. First, we have that shredded chicken and I'll pack two of that into these with some asparagus. Then I take some Quest bars, as you see here. Uh, s'mores is one of my favorites, and then the white chocolate raspberry. So I'll take four of those. I'll take some tuna, there's six packs of that. Then I'll make some sandwiches with this. Put it on these. So I'll usually make two sandwiches and top it with a little bit of turkey bacon. Uh, my wife has been so nice and has offered to make me some more turkey this evening while I'm teaching class. And then I'll pack two of those and then I have some meals. I usually buy breakfast on the road because I always want eggs. And then to snack on, I got my nature box sriracha roasted cashews. Sriracha roasted cashews. There you go, sorry. I've been on the go all morning. And some salt and pepper pistachios. Also, I like to get in fast before bed, so I pack this. Uh, nuts and more, if you tried it, it's a high protein peanut butter and the pumpkin spice is delicious. And then I'll pack some protein and we have meals for the road. Now, all the food is taken care of. Uh, it's in the fridge. I'll pack it first thing in the morning before we hit the road. Uh, today's kind of busy. You know, I've been getting ready for the shows this weekend and now uh, I'm about to make my shake for the gym uh, then I'm gonna go train shoulders um, so with shoulder workout I usually start with some snatches supersetted with some barbell shrugs and then I'll go into a press uh, barbell press always uh, in front and then I'll do my side raises with some steering wheels is which when you hold your plate in front of you straight out and then twist it back and forth like you're driving a car uh, then I'll do some rear delts and then I'll do some front delts supersetted with upright rows and then I'll do some more shrugs usually on the on the cab raise machine because I can go a lot heavier and not have to worry about my grip and then I'll finish off with some Arnold presses uh, and then head off to training and then it's on the road tomorrow at 7 a.m. so hopefully anybody who's watching this I'll see you in either Kalamazoo tomorrow or Dayton on Saturday so hope you guys have a good weekend